Member for Kelowna Mission. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. What combines a great sporting event, nonstop action, athletic prowess, Mardi Gras, Halloween, all rolled into one great weekend in Vancouver? Well, it may seem like a decade ago, but I must congratulate Rugby Canada, BC Rugby, and the Vancouver Organizing Committee for another huge success in hosting the World Sevens in Vancouver in March. This was Canada's and BC's fifth time in hosting the series, bringing 16 teams from around the world over and over 75,000 fans over two days in BC Place. This year, the Canadian team, led by Captain Nathan Hiriyama, thrilled the hometown and Canadian fans with a tremendous performance. With wins over perennial crowd favourites Fiji and then France and Wales in the pool stages, our team moved to the quarterfinals, beating Spain, and then on to the semifinals against Australia. Bringing agony and heartbreak to the fans and the, Canadi and the hometown fans and Canadian fans, they came a centimetre short, a centimetre short in a television match official review decision that would have seen them beat Australia and move on to the final. But the team recovered uh, from that heartbreak and in a closing strong performance, uh, beat a, a experienced world-class South Africa side to claim third place. Mr. Speaker, I'm proud of the decision of our government in 2015 to fully support Rugby Canada's bid to host this event and to provide the necessary upgrades to BC Place turf to meet international rugby standards. This has paid off in huge economic benefits for the province, raised awareness of the game, introduced new fans to the game, including the member for Prince George Valmont, and put Vancouver and BC on the map as a great host uh, and a premier destination for major sporting events. The Vancouver Sevens has been voted as the best stop on the circuit, and that's up against some pretty tough competition of other major cities around the world. BC is also recognized for hosting the World's Women's Series in Langford, and our Canadian women's team is amongst the best in the world. So congratulations to Rugby Canada, the men's and women's teams, and all involved in hosting this great event, and I hope it will continue for many years to come. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.